In today's video, we're going to be using the LK5 3D printer from Longer to 3D print some spray can attachments for the paint cans. And also, it'll let us use the SprayMax 2K Clear nozzle on Rust-Oleum and Krylon cans. So let's go ahead and get started with this video. Welcome to more Motorsports Garage. God bless each and every one of you. If you're new here, please consider subscribing, clicking that like button, and turning that bell icon on to get notified of every upload. Real quick, before we get started, that paid product placement in the top corner does not mean that I was paid to do this review. They sent me the machine to do a review on, whether that's saying it's a bad machine or a good machine, it doesn't matter. Um, I didn't get paid financially for any of this, so there was zero financial compensation. They do let me keep the machine as payment for my time and uh, my efforts, so that is good enough for me, uh, but I just wanted to let you guys know that, food for thought. Uh, but yeah, we're going to go ahead and get into it, and I hope you guys enjoy. Here we go. We're going to be doing some 3D printing with Longer's LK5 Pro 3D printer. They sent me this to do a review on, and this is my first 3D printer ever and first time ever using one, so it should be pretty interesting to say the least. Um, but it came with everything needed, and it was very neatly packed. I am really impressed with the quality of this thing, seeing as how I don't know what I'm looking for in a 3D printer, and this is my first time. It definitely seems pretty simple to put together. Just did a little time elapse for you guys because it comes with amazing instructions, including a video on how to put it together on the SD card that comes with it. So that is pretty impressive. And uh, so far, I'm really impressed with this longer uh, 3D printer. Now, I did have to buy some filament myself, which you can see right here, the 3D printer filament PLA. Now, I did get a polycarbonate one. Um, it's similar to ABS plastic. It's high heat, and I will be using that for engine bay parts in a separate video. Um, so definitely want to stay tuned for all that. But I did get it all assembled, and here it is. It is a super nice quality all the way through. Now, it does have instructions on how to level the bed and all of that stuff, so that's why I didn't do it in this video. But I am going to be printing some cool parts, or cool, I think, parts. Uh, we're going to do some spray can stuff and maybe print some extra stuff. But... uh. Yeah, just wanted to get you guys a video on this channel because I know a lot of you guys love my paint content. So this would be perfect for doing some content with paint can stuff. So we're going to just be using this silver or gray, whatever color you want to call it, uh, PLA. And uh, yeah, I've already trammed the bed or leveled the bed and uh, got all that stuff ready. So I went to Thingiverse and they actually have a file for some of these 3D print stuff which I'll link in the description, all of this stuff if you guys want to get one. If you were looking for a sign to get a 3D printer, this is the sign. My wife's been telling me I need to get one, and then they reached out, so I said, of course I'd take a 3D printer. So uh, it's definitely really nice quality. So I'm going to go ahead and upload the file. It's a 3D file, and put it on the SD card. We'll get it loaded up. I will time elapse the best I can with the 3D print, so I really hope you guys enjoy this video. Okay, the bed is cooling down and the nozzle is cooling down now. And there it is. It looks really cool. So once it's cooled down, we will uh, pop it off of there. and We will see if we can find a can for it to fit on. Hopefully it just fits on the Krylon can. But if not, I'll go through all my spray cans to see exactly which one it'll fit on. All right, I got it off there after it cooled down. It looked pretty good, um, except for this big bottom piece which stuck to it and when I tried to get it off it ruined it so my first ever 3d print and uh, it didn't turn out too bad considering I didn't know that I didn't need this big old bottom section which helps with the adhesion so I'm going to upload another file and we're going to try this again and then we're going to test it out hope you guys are enjoying Yeah. 
All right, I went ahead and pulled it off the machine. The audio wasn't working on this particular video, but you can see the bottom of the cap was filled in and I couldn't get that out. So that cap was another failed print. Uh, but otherwise it looked pretty good, but I'm not familiar with 3D printing. So it took me a minute to figure all of that out, um, but not a big deal. The machine's pretty simple to use. Um, so it didn't take long for me to figure it out, but I went ahead and pulled it inside the house because the humidity out in the garage was at like 80% and that's very bad for 3D printing. So I went ahead and put it in, on the table in the kitchen and there wasn't any harsh smells or anything like that and it seemed to print pretty well. So I went ahead and print this uh, little clip right here and went ahead and did that and it came out really good. Just make sure not to have a raft or a base around it. I used actually some uh, stick glue, put some on the actual glass and that helped with adhesion big time. And then I was able to print those and then I went ahead and started on the adapter for the Spraymax 2K Clear cap to go on a Krylon or Rust-Oleum can. So that way we can have a better spray pattern. And uh, it actually turned out really good. So here is that cap. It looks awesome. Uh, all the information for the files I used are in the description and free to use for people. So just keep that in mind. Uh, if you guys want, want to make one yourself or if you want to buy one, I'm sure someone's making them, but I will not be selling them. Um, but yeah, it's pretty cool. So now we can actually take this tip right here, which has a better spray pattern and it fits right here on this cap. So I'll show you that here in just a second. Okay, before I get swapping caps, I want to show you the spray difference. This is the gold Rust-Oleum. It's kind of harder to see because it's not the black, which we will do the black here in just a moment. But I went ahead and took that cap off. Now we have this piece, which goes on there just like that. And it's kind of a snug fit. Then we are going to put the Spray Max tip on there. Just like that. And now we're going to spray with this. You can see the spray pattern is much better. Now we're going to transfer this tip over to the black, uh, but before we do that, we're going to test the black as well. Now this is the black from Krylon, so we're going to do the same thing. Now it doesn't fit the Krylon very well. You'd actually have to drill out the hole just a hair, um, but since I don't really use Krylon, that's not going to be a big deal. I just want to show you how it works, but here it is. much better and it's just a little 3d printed part which is really cool but now we have the last 3d printed part which is just this clip here as you can see i am missing a few of them so i wanted to test this out and see how it would do basically push it in like that and take this piece and push it in like that so there it is up close you can see so now i need to get two more made one for there and one for there so this 3D printer is gonna come in handy for sure. I can make all kinds of stuff and I'm sure I will have more videos coming out on all of that. Uh, I have to get a few more designs and kind of learn the programming just a little bit more before I can do that. So for my first time 3D printing, using this LK5 Pro from Longer definitely made the process pretty simple. Now there's still some other things that I still have to learn such as uh, bridging and some other stuff in the software but it comes with all of the information on the SD card that you could need to basically get started and start learning how to print. So definitely watch the videos that come with it if you buy one of these units. I'm not saying you have to buy one, but it does help the companies uh, that send me this product if you do buy it. I don't get a kickback or anything like that, so information will be in the description. But I definitely like the attachment because this will make spray painting a lot better. And it seemed to spray pretty good um, with this cap, the Spray Max 2K Clear, which I was always throwing these caps away because I didn't have an adapter for it. So now that I have an adapter, it's gonna be awesome and I cannot wait to use it on some projects, which I definitely will. And with this PLA, you can actually prime it with a filler primer from Rust-Oleum and then use the uh, paint, the base color, whatever you want, and it'll actually fill in some of those uh, lines that come from 3D printing. Uh, so that's really cool. And then you can 2K clear them and it lasts a long time. So it's pretty cool. And uh, I'm definitely gonna be experimenting some more with this for sure. So you definitely wanna stay tuned uh, to this channel and over on Texas Honda channel because I'll be doing stuff on both channels. Uh, so if you haven't, please go over to Texas Honda channel and subscribe, information's in the description. And we are so close to 100K subscribers on this channel. 
So I would greatly appreciate it if you clicked subscribe, share the videos around uh, with people who like to use spray paint that they might be able to find use out of this. Uh, but that is basically it for this video. Again, huge shout out to uh, Longer for providing the 3D printer. And uh, maybe we'll try their laser etcher next. We'll see exactly what happens. But uh, yeah, I already have a laser etcher, but I kind of want to check theirs out. But uh, that's basically it. I will see you guys in the next video. Again, if you liked it, please consider subscribing. Hit that like button, drop a comment below, share the videos around. I'll see you in the next one. And as I like to say, God bless, stay safe, stay awesome.